Welcome to the IntelliLearn video library, Calculations Involving Tablets and Capsules, Examples, Part 1. To calculate the number of tablets or capsules to administer to the patient, you need to know the dose that the patient must receive in grams, milligrams or micrograms. This information is always provided on the medication order in the box labelled Dose. You also need to know the strength of the medication in question. This information is printed on the medication packaging. If the medication is available in a blister pack, always check the blister pack itself rather than the box for information about the strength of the tablet or capsule. The strength of each single tablet or capsule is called its stock strength. Once you have this information, the number of tablets or capsules to administer is equal to the dose that has been ordered divided by the stock strength. Let's now replace each of these quantities with their actual values by reading the medication order and the strength of the medication. The dose that has been ordered can be read directly from the medication order from the field called dose. The dose field specifies how much active medication the patient must be given in each dose. In this case it is 45 milligrams. The stock strength can be found on the packaging of the medication or preferably on the blister pack itself if the medication is available in this form. In this case it is 30 milligrams. The required calculation is shown. The strength of the medication specifies how much active medication, in this case codeine phosphate, is contained in one tablet or capsule. Before actually calculating the number of tablets or capsules to administer, it is good practice to estimate the answer. You can do this by considering the dose required and the strength of medication. A strength of 30 mg per tablet means a patient will receive 30 mg of codeine phosphate for every one tablet administered. Two tablets will result in a dose of 2 times 30 mg, which is 60 mg, and more than the 45 mg required. As such, you therefore know that the correct dose is between 1 and 2 tablets. To perform the calculation with a calculator, you simply need to enter 45 divided by 30 and then press equals. The calculator will display an answer of 1.5, meaning that 1.5 tablets should be administered. This is in line with the earlier estimation of between 1 and 2 tablets. To perform the calculation without a calculator, you can start by cancelling the units of milligrams on the bottom and top, which leaves a final unit of tablets. You can apply the 5 rule to 45 and 30 by dividing both numbers by 5, which gives 9 over 6. 9 over 6 can be divided by 3, giving 3 over 2, which is 3 divided by 2, which is 1.5 when you use short division. The patient should be given one and a half tablets.